Welcome guys. Remember to use code RRFETCH in the item shop for ultimate good luck this season. Wow. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. Today's video a little bit different once again, but in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the latest Fortnite crash. Maybe thinking I made a video literally on this like two weeks ago where I talked about the UE4 Fortnite crash, which is a little bit different to this latest crash. UE4 one in the last video I went through an application called um, which is an application called MSI Afterburner, which may be causing your game to crash. And I made another video two months ago which was about the same thing, but I went more into the files of the game. So that's about a completely different crash to this video. But if you guys if this video doesn't work you want to go to them videos which will be linked in the description but in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix this like latest crash that's been coming around after the version 8.30 update so yeah let's just get straight into it so first of all I'm just going to show you guys what the crash should be looking like so you know if you're at the right place or not but your crash should look something like this it's going to obviously say Fortnite client dash win 64 dash shipping dot exe that is the crash so it could you could get a screen like this you could get a screen like this which um, it doesn't really start correctly so your game doesn't start at all and it, what it's doing is crashing on the splash screen of the game i'll tell you more about that in a minute it could look like this like and it could have a bunch of um basically could look could look like this and it could say a bunch of like win 64 shipping like all the way down here like seven or eight little things here so it could also be that or if it just looks simply like this links are in the description to them videos where you can fix this ue4 crash which is completely different to this so you can get check them out there but yeah if it says anything about fortnite client win 64 you're at the right place so i'm going to close these now that that's me showing you guys what it looks like and now we're going to get into something called command line argument you guys may be thinking yeah i have command line arguments in my game but um you probably don't have this one and this is probably the reason your game is crashing but there's actually two fixes for this um crash so i'm going to go for this one first so what you guys are going to need is command line arguments you can literally get them from anywhere but for this case i'm going to send like put in description um my command line arguments for the game so to actually put these in um you want to go into your epic games launcher so just search up epic games launcher load it up you gotta make sure the game's closed for this to work you want to go over to the little settings cog here at the bottom press settings scroll down to you see fortnite and just drop the little drop down arrow down and right here you want to tick additional command like arguments and then you want to copy and paste um what is basically at the top of the description so just copy all from the description and paste it right here so you a lot of this is to do with just um ensuring your fps is at like an all-time better and you're getting better frames so this could help you get in like at least 30 frames but it's just they're just it's that extra help but what's most important here is um the no splash which is right here no splash this is what you need most so if you don't have any other one so make sure you copy and paste no dash no splash in here all in capitals once you've done that you want to press back and then you can just cross out of this and now that's applied and as this is why i've got this reddit open is because i want to tell you guys what no splash does the reason your game could be crashing is because when you're on the splash screen of the game um it's basically causing your game to just like you have a huge lag spike freeze and then crash it's just something that is now a lot heavier in the recent update and it could just be really it's it's usually down to your gpu just the graphics on it it's just really hitting your graphics card and just sort of like just just getting it to a point where it's just 100 percent boom and it's crashing or if you do have a bad processor it could be causing your game to bottleneck it's it's a few things that could be causing this but no splash is actually very important to have in so just dash no splash like i've just shown you in the actual thing but yeah it just dis disables the use of splash image when loading your game if you guys don't know what splash image is on fortnite splash screen is things like this or when your game loads you get like the little you know that's that's the splash screen you get the little box that shows the loading of the game that's your splash screen and it could be stopping the game from actually loading because it just it sh shuts down your game straight away it's hard to explain just make sure you have it could just be the splash screen so make sure you put this command line argument in which could stop the crash now there's no point in going to check if this is a fix the crash so you may as well do this option as well just so you ensure that this is actually going to work and when you click off the video you're no longer be getting the crash so what the the issue could be is that as soon as fortnite have now enabled a feature where you no longer have stretch resolution and your game is like trying to force itself into native um because you guys have previously used stretch resolution it could be causing the issue so what you guys want to do is go into percent app data percent right here and click onto this folder. Go into app data local Fortnite game saved config Windows client and right here what game user settings is. So you guys obviously notice if you have ever used stretch resolution and haven't tried to take it off since you have um, tried to restart the game after the update. You guys want to um, just you guys want to right click it right here and go to properties. Make sure this is on um, like untick read only because it probably was already on that. And what when you have it on read only it forces the game not to like try and let's begin what happens when you change the settings in games or stretch resolution without read only it can force change it so when you accidentally tab out your game's gonna force go back to like native and it's always been an issue even with stretch resolution when it was a thing 
but right now it's even worse. So what happens when this is um, unticked, the game can force these files to change, and what it's trying to do is, seeing as it's trying to be banned, what Fortnite does to actually get rid of it is force changes this folder to then go to 1920 by 1080 which is 16 by 9 which is also native resolution. When it's ticked and it's on read only, if it was, if you had it previously set to if you had it previously set to something like 1444 or any stretch resolution, it isn't going to be able to change and your game's going to be looking very horrible when it loads. Because it's just going to be very zoomed and it's going to try and force, like, get it back to native for the update. But it's just not going to work and it's then going to cause your game to crash. So all you guys need to do is make sure you change this and make sure read only is not on. Because now you have native resolution, there's no need for it. So just make sure you untick read only. And if you want it on that bad, just make sure you go into your settings and actually um, change your resolution. So just make sure you change this back to 1920 by 1080 and then if you really want that bad, you can just change it back to read only. Just make sure this is on 1920 by 1080 and make sure read only is unticked. That's all you guys need to do. Because the fact that stretch resolution is trying to be forced taken off, but it just can't do that, it can cause your game to crash. So guys, this is the end of the video. I know it's been very bland and it could have been pretty complicated, but if you guys followed the video correctly, you even need to just make sure you go back to where you change your stretch resolution. Make sure it's on 1920 by 1080 and read only is unche unchecked or unticked. And if, if not, that does not work. You guys want to go into your um, folders. Now, you guys want to go into your um, Epic Games settings and you want to make sure dash, no splash, all in capitals is in your command line arguments. Because that will stop the splash screen causing the game to crash. So these are the only ways um, this particular Win64 crash is actually occurring. And this should stop it completely. If this video did help, you guys could drop a like, subscribe for more amazing content. That would mean the world. I'm going to be bringing you guys. I've been daily uploading for a while now, like 20 days. So I'm on my grind. So yeah, that would mean a lot. And um, if this did not help and you still are trying to fix a crash, I've made two videos on how to fix a crash, which are, I go into different ways of doing it. So one of them are going to help and they'll be both linked down below. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been your boy Farfetch and yeah, peace.